Hey you guys, Cassie Vegan back at ya. That was awful. I'm supposed to be back with ya. <laughs> hey you guys, Cassie Vegan back with ya. And we are about to prepare some high protein vegan bolognese. So, hope you're ready for this. I'm gonna start out by showing you how to prepare the tomatoes. So I'm gonna wash them and then I'll show you how to slice them and de-seed them in a cool way that I learned online. So I've rinsed off all of my tomatoes. I like to use the vine ripened ones. I find that they make the tastiest tomato sauce. And then you're just gonna take your tomato and you're gonna cut it in half. Once you've got all of your tomatoes cut in half, you're gonna want to de-seed them. You just gently squeeze your tomato like this and all of your seeds and your juice pop out. You want them to be pretty dry, your tomatoes, because it'll make a thicker sauce. So once your seeds pop out, you just pull everything off and you've pretty much got a seedless tomato. After you've got all of your tomatoes de-seeded, you're gonna want to put a little olive oil in the bottom of an oven-safe glass baking dish, and you're just gonna lay all of your tomatoes face down into the oil. And then you're gonna wanna do a little more olive oil over the top, not too much, just a tiny drizzle over each tomato. And then season your tomatoes with your choice of seasonings. I prefer to do Himalayan salt, a little bit of onion powder. What goes better with onion powder than garlic powder? A little bit of herbs de province. And some red cayenne. And then you're gonna put your dish of tomatoes into the oven at 450 and they're gonna cook for about 40 to 45 minutes. The next thing I'm gonna start making while the tomatoes are cooking is our tofu mock meat that's gonna go into our tomato sauce. So I've got one block of extra firm tofu and I just pressed it out some. It's not a big deal if there's a little bit of moisture still left in there. Turn your skillet on low medium heat for now. Add a little bit of olive oil in there. <laughs> in place of a meat masher, don't laugh, I use this mixing bowl mixer because it was the thing I had most shaped like a meat masher. So you're just gonna use it and you're just gonna mash your tofu. <laughs> So now that we've got our tofu all crumbled up, we're gonna add a few things to give it that Italian spaghetti meat flavor to complement the sauce. I've got Bragg's liquid aminos right here. Let's see if I can get it in the frame for you. This stuff is amazing. It's got soy protein in it, so it's high in protein. It tastes incredible and it's so versatile. So we've got our liquid aminos. I pour about a fourth cup in there. And then I'm just gonna add some seasoning. So we've got some coriander, some chili powder, a little bit of red cayenne, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and our <laughs> herbs de province, if I cannot drop it. After you've got all of your seasonings in there, you're just gonna mix it and make sure it's well combined. I 
I've got our tomatoes in the oven. I cut up some onion, garlic, and jalapeno to put on there after about 20 minutes of cooking. I've got our mock meat going over there. And I figured I would show you the high protein pasta that we're gonna be using today. So it's Ancient Harvest. This is our favorite brand. This is their red lentil. It's really, really good. Their green lentil is amazing as well. And it's super easy to make. It only takes about six, eight minutes. And bam, high protein meal. I'm taking our tomatoes out of the oven now. It's been about 20 minutes. So you can see what they're looking like so far. So I'm just gonna throw on my chopped onion over the top. And my chopped garlic and jalapeno. Mm, it literally smells like we're in a pizza place right now. And then back into the oven for about 20 more minutes. Our tomatoes and our veggies are done cooking now. So this is what they look like. A little browned on the top, cooked through. Mm. Now I'm just gonna ladle these, straining off any of the liquid that is retained at the bottom and put them into my high-speed blender. I've let my tomatoes and my veggies sit for a little while in the blender basin just to release a little extra liquid and then I'm gonna dump it off into the sink before I blend. So you'll see there's not much liquid left in there. I left just a little bit and then we're gonna blend it until it's smooth. So I just finished our sauce and this is what it's gonna look like when you're done. You can see how thick and incredible that is. Mm. And the last thing to do is to combine all of our ingredients. I got the same pot that I boiled noodles in. It's not super pretty after that boil, but I figured why wash it if I was just gonna get it saucy. favorite touches homemade vegan parmesan crumble and I had this pre-made in the fridge because I use it for a bunch of different recipes and I figured why not sprinkle some on top so we've got our vegan spaghetti and to top it off some vegan parmesan crumble <laughs> All right, and there you have it, guys. My version of a high-protein vegan bolognese. <laughs> I can't wait to give it a try for you. Probably need to clean my hands off first. I'm a little powdery. And we're back with clean hands to give this a try for you. I'm so excited, it looks incredible. Okay, let's see if I can get a good noodle twirl. <laughs> I've never been very good at this. I don't know how people get the perfect twirl of noodle on their fork. Okay. Well, it works. It's not a twirl. It's, but it works. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm speechless. That tastes just like my childhood. Just like spaghetti I had as a kid. I can't tell it's vegan at all. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I hope that you love this recipe, and if you give it a try, make sure to tag me on my Instagram page, at cassie.vegan. Until next time, live kindly, shine brightly, everyone. Mm. <laughs>